hi welcome back everyone today's client is going to be receiving lock extensions we're going to lock his hair using the back comb method our very first step in this process is going to be foundation which means you're going to part out and section the hair appropriately to fit the size of the extensions that you're going to be installing because our client has straight hair it's easier to section the hair with rubber bands versus twisting or coiling the hair of course because coils uh, don't exactly stay with straight textured hair because this process can be very tedious and time consuming i'm just going to show you on this one section um, only because the installation process um, is very step and repeat. So step two, we're going to back comb. Uh, back combing, you want to get a comb that has very tight teeth. And I'll put a link in the description box where you can purchase a comb like the one that I'm using. Uh, but pretty much you're going to kind of tease the hair but not in just one direction in a circular motion to create a cylindrical section until it becomes very stiff and you're going to have some flyaway hairs but um, don't worry about that because that can be taken care of during the crocheting process in step three. It's going to be hard, but try to be as delicate as possible. Um, there's a lot of tension and pulling on the scalp um, when doing this, and um, it, it can leave your clients a little tender headed. Now that you have back combed your section, you can kind of um, roll that section in between the palms of your, both of your hands to sort of mold it and make it a little easier to crochet and keep those flyaways in place. As you're crocheting, make sure with your left hand or the hand that you're using to hold the hair in place. Make sure you're rotating as you crochet. Um, that rotation is gonna create uh, the, a cylindrical look that forms the lock. And as you're crocheting, um, you're gonna work the needle in and out always make sure the needle is facing up um, and towards you and just continue making that in and out motion catching hair and rotating with your left hand pushing and pulling that hair in and out creating a knot as you continue crocheting doing the in and out motion 
make sure you're working your way down the lock and don't get too focused on one area. You'll always have time to go back and fill in any weak spots, which is what I'm doing right here. And I'm using the single point pointed crochet hook. Also with doing lock extensions, be sure to leave at least an inch and a half to two inches of loose hair free at the end of your client's hair to give yourself space to attach the lock extension. Also because I feel like I cannot emphasize this enough, be very careful with these crochet hooks because they can be very sharp and I have injured myself many times especially with the single pointed crochet hook. the finished product my client was very very happy with the results uh, for a more natural look I did these extensions with uh, straighter texture textured hair um, just for a more natural appearance he did allow me to style this once I was done um, and style is optional it's not too stiff once it's finished so if they want to wear it down that's fine too but um, this is my video on lock extensions on straight hair I hope you guys enjoyed please remember to like and subscribe